expected, welding was indeed successful. Okay, so guys, as you can see that I have made a few changes to this circuit. In my previous video, I used just three capacitors, one, two, and three. But in this circuit, I have added another capacitor. But there is only one difference that this capacitor is rated at only 200 volts at 5000 microfarad. While these three capacitors are rated at 250 volts and 10,000 microfarad. And another thing that I have done is I have changed the power supply. This time I am using a 15 volts laptop charger instead of a 12 volts UPS battery. Okay, so these are the terminals. Yeah, you can see that the black terminal is already connected here and the red one is yet to be connected. The multimeter is showing uh, 1.5 volts, uh, that is almost zero. As soon as I will touch at this terminal, it will start generating high voltage that will go through this bulb to the bridge rectifier, which in turn will convert the AC, ripple AC to direct DC that will charge the capacitors, as you know from my previous video. So if you have watched my previous video, well and good, otherwise you can watch it by going to the link provided in the description. Okay, so guys, in this video, I am going to perform some spot welding by short circuiting the charge of these capacitors, like spot welding these two nails together okay let's see if it works okay so now I'm going to attach one of the nails to this vise and the other one to the dragon clip that has been attached to this board piece okay so getting on with it Okay, so one nail is connected. Now I have to give supply to this vice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect one of the dragon clips over here. Yeah, and the other dragon clip is here, as I told you. So to this clip, I'm going to connect this nail. Now all I have to do is start this circuit and charge these capacitors. The voltage will be indicated over here and then short circuit these two terminals. Let's see if they stick together because of the high ampere and high voltage. So let's do that. Yeah. You can see that the bulb is glowing and its illuminance will decrease with the increase in charge of the capacitors as I told you before. You can see that it is decreasing and here the charge is increasing. And I have to stop the charging of the capacitors at 200 volts because as I said one of the capacitor that I added was only rated up to 200 volts. So I cannot go beyond that even if I want to. Okay so the charge is increasing really fast. I think I should go for the short circuit. Yeah, now first I have to disconnect it. Yeah, the reading has gone beyond 200 volt. I have to switch it to 1000. Yeah, it is 197. Okay, so guys, it's time to do some short circuit. So as you can see that the spot welding was perfect and successful. Yeah. These points are really hot. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that this part has become almost black. The two metals have melted at this point and they have made up a strong weld. Okay. Yeah. 
very strong pretty good yeah okay so guys before i tried uh, some iron but this time i'm going to try some aluminium also a combination of aluminium and iron this is iron and this is pure aluminium let's see if these two can weld together because normal welding does not weld aluminium and iron together let's see if it does the job Yeah, it's stuck here. I placed this only because I want you to see this aluminium properly because uh, this vice is pretty dark and this aluminium hides behind it. So because of this reflective surface, you can see it better. So let's recharge the capacitors and do the test. Okay, so guys, it's 200 volts. Let's do some spot welding. Yeah, so in this case also, as you can see, iron and uh, aluminium don't make the bond. They just don't make it, irrespective of the fact if it's spot welding or gas welding or electrode welding okay so let's try some iron iron again yeah though this this piece of iron has suffered pretty bit because of the short circuit let's do some iron iron bonding again okay so guys this time i'm going to try and weld these two iron pieces together I think this is iron because it is a bit rusted over here. It's time to start charging the capacitors. As expected, the welding was indeed successful. Yeah. You can see that this metal piece is stuck to this one. So one thing is to be learned from this uh, that uh, no matter which type of welding you perform it is almost impossible to weld iron and aluminium together but iron and iron bonds are easily made and so are aluminium to aluminium okay so pretty strong weld yeah yeah it is strong Okay. So it's like some new invention. It is really good how we can boost the charge from a laptop charger and store it in a capacitor bank. Do some easy spot welding without any electrode or additional materials. And of course, guys, this is still a demo for bigger materials to weld together. We are going to need some higher capacitance, some higher value of capacitance. Like I'm doing almost around 35,000 microfarad capacitance. And it would be much better if I go or move towards around 100,000 capacitance. Then I can weld even thicker materials with the spot welding. 
and obviously it is going to be much dangerous but so is uh, the gas welding and electrode welding and the best part of this uh, welding machine is, is that it does not produces any harmful fumes for your lungs which are present in the electrode welding case ok so guys I am going to weld these four nails together these are the nails ok yeah so let's start the charging okay so it is almost 200 now yeah okay go Okay, it's really hot. Okay, so let's do one more time. Okay, let's start the charging of capacitors. Go. Hundred and nine volts, good enough. Okay, go. So guys, three nails have got stuck together, just one more nail left, okay. Okay, so guys, as you can see that the multimeter is indicating around 206, 204 volts. Time to perform the spot welding. Okay, go. I think this one hasn't stuck properly because I stuck it to the side. Okay, so anyways, it's not like I'm making some important project. It is just a demonstration. Yeah. It is really hot. I'm going to use this paper okay so guys I hope that you like my new spot welding machine yeah the last nail attachment was a bit of my mistake as I could not see the two of them this point should be here and then it would have been proper yeah and it is strong yeah it is really strong so guys I truly hope that you like my video and if you did please hit like and I will be making some important and significant changes to this circuit of mine and will come up with them in my future videos.
So guys, that would be all for today. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please hit like. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you.